So this is a follow-up video uh, just on my quest for vibration reduction and uh, I've received a lot of great comments related to you know different uh, vibration dampening uh, materials such as you know the foam air plugs, moon gel, which moon gel works great. I've actually um, put in, in an order for sorbethane which is another dampening uh, material that's supposed to be really good so I'm going to give that a try but a few of people have pointed out that you know you can do all the vibration reduction you know techniques that you want but like if the source is bad then that's really where you got to start so I've gone ahead and I've I went ahead and rebalanced all my props put them back on and it's a little better, but still there's a problem. So a YouTube user that goes by the username of BCD Video posted a couple, couple of great comments today related to just these props. And so these are gym fan props that, from what I've read, have a little bit of um, carbon in them, but I think they're mostly plastic. So these are 10 by 4 or 5 pitch props. And what I'm going to do is I have an iPhone app that I purchased today called... Uh, seismometer I believe it's seismometer the six or it's it's part of a multi-tool kit but I downloaded just this version for 99 cents um, I think because if you buy the multi-tool you don't get the data export so what I'm gonna do is I've zip tied my iPhone to the quad and I'm going to take it up for you know and let it hover for about 30 seconds then export the data and put it in the spreadsheet and I'll also do that uh, compare the gym fan prop results with my 3D, 3D robotics quad that has the same same uh, diameter prop a 10 inch prop with a 4.7 pitch on it so um, you know the APC general I think are generally a, a better prop so I want to try that and just kind of compare results to see if there's less vibration and if the APC results look better we'll uh, take the GoPro up and do a little uh, test video and see how everything looks. So what I'll do right before I take the quad for a flight I'll just click the screen and I'll clear graph and then I'll go ahead and um, take it up for about 30 seconds export the data put it in a Google spreadsheet and I'll do the same with the APC props and then we'll um, compare the results. Okay so I just completed the flight test with the um, gym fan props and uh, grabbed that that vibration data and now I've mounted the uh, APC props. Now once again these are 4.7 pitch so a little bit steeper pitch than my gym fans but uh, we'll, we're still going to give this a go. Let's take a look at our results from uh, the 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 uh, gym fan versus APC vibration test uh, with the um, seismometer iPhone app, and I'll post a link to that app in the uh, video description. But you know, well, if you, I'll, I'll make the, I'll also post a link to the spreadsheet. I'll make it public uh, for you to take a look, and you you can see all the. Um, different sheets that I have here. Now I was going to try to do all three axes together and it just it was really clunky so what I did was I broke out uh, the each of the three axes the x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis have a tabular view and then a chart view so tabular view isn't too exciting um, but it's the data is there if you want to look at it but if you take a look at the chart you'll notice that in our legend, Jim Fan is blue, APC is red, and you can pretty quickly tell, you know, a difference. Generally, the um, the highs and lows of this chart um, for Jim Fan are a lot uh, larger and smaller. The peaks are um, greater than the APC, so that tells me that at least on the x-axis, there's more vibration in the Jim Fan prop. Now if you go over here, I had to kind of do a little bit of time shifting because unfortunately I wasn't able to, you know, do these tests simultaneously. I 
took the quad up with the gym fan for 30 seconds and then the uh, APC and then I did a little data manipulation. So you'll see over here that the blue for gym fan is actually quite low, but that's when I had landed and over here in the red, I was still flying the APCs. So uh, that's the X axis chart, Y axis. You know, if you look at this first glance, you know, without being too specific, it looks, you know, more or less like the data are, are about the same. You know, a similar amount of vibration on the Y axis uh, for both. And once again, I had landed in the gym fan case and I was still flying the APC. And then you take a look at the Z axis. And this is pretty interesting as well because the gym fan, generally deaf, has a, you know, a, a decent amount more vibration on the Z axis than uh, the APC does. So if you, you know, kind of sum it up, uh, the X axis chart and the Z axis show us that there's a considerable amount more vibration uh, coming from the gym fan props. Now, I'll actually translate that at some point to, you know, taking quad up and seeing how that, you know, translates to the actual video vibration and just whether or not we, we get jello. But this was a good test, you know, a 99 cent iPhone app. I'm sure there's probably a free one out there um, that you can use to measure vibration. And I'll, and I'll, you know, have a few different prop sets on order. So I'll do some further testing on those. But Hope the video was useful. It, you know, it was an interesting experiment for me to do a vibration test uh, using the iPhone, and I'll continue to uh, experiment more. But please feel free to post any questions or uh, comments, and um, thanks for watching.